Hey everyone, I'm Adam, and in this video, we're gonna be learning how to create and deploy a smart contract and then interact with that smart contract, all from a Gnosis Safe multi-sig wallet. For most projects, as an independent developer, you may be kind of doing the development and deployment process with your individual wallet. That works for most standard use cases, as well as individual projects. But when it comes time to work on larger projects or work with teams, it often becomes more difficult to work with an individual wallet as you have to manage permissions and maybe you don't want every single individual person to have the exact same role. So many people turn to using what's called a multi-sig wallet which lets you aggregate multiple wallets and teammates into a single wallet and require certain people to have to sign messages in order for the total team wallet to make any actions. Often with that setup, it's a bit difficult to do more nuanced on-chain actions like deploying smart contracts and interacting with them because the format of doing transactions and signing messages together isn't always obvious. But in this video, we're gonna show you just how easy it is to deploy any smart contract with your multi-sig Gnosis Safe wallet and interact with the contract all from the third web dashboard. Before we jump into the video, I wanna let you know that currently 70% all of the amazing people like yourself that watch Their Web's YouTube videos are still not subscribed to the channel. So before we begin, I'd love to ask you a favor. If you get any value out of these videos, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the Their Web channel. And the little tip is we're going to be airdropping 10 users who have subscribed to the Their Web channel, a very special NFT every week. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm gonna start off by heading over to gnosisafe.io which is the website where we can actually set up one of these multi-sig wallets. And if you haven't set one up before, you should check out our previous video, which we'll link in the description, which goes in detail over how to set up and create a new Gnosis safe and all the different configuration you might want to set up. But in this video, we're just going to create a simple sort of default setup for our Gnosis safe. And then we're going to focus more on what we can actually do with that in the third web dashboard. So I'm just going to go ahead and click open app here and head into the Gnosis safe website. And I've already created a safe, so it will pop up some other info here. But what I wanna do is click on that arrow and click to create a new safe. Now, if you didn't already have a safe created, it will just show you this page by default. So I'll go ahead and click create new safe. And uh, we can see it says creating a safe on Polygon. I wanna do this on testnet. So I'm gonna switch this to Gurley, but you can all do this on whatever network you wanna create your Gnosis safe on. And then I'm going to name my safe uh, third web test safe and we can continue, you can name that whatever you want to. Now, here's the first important part where um, you're able to copy over what wallets you want to be in the Gnosis safe. So I'm gonna call this one Adam, and I'm actually gonna add another person into the safe. We'll get another one of my wallets. And let's do, for example, if MetaMask pops up here, let's use my test wallet. So we'll call this Adam test. And now there's this interesting configuration here, which says any transaction requires the confirmation of, and for now we're going to keep this at one, but you can imagine if you had a bunch of people and you wanted no transactions to go through unless a certain amount of people have signed the message, you can actually specify a higher number here and then everybody would have to sign or any transaction can be made. And we're going to show you how that actually works uh, later on in this video, but I'm going to click continue onto the next step. And then finally, everything looks good here. So I'm going to click create. And I'll just have to sign a few transactions here to actually create the safe, which is expected. So I'm going to wait for those to complete. Okay, so we can see that my safe has now been created. And there's a ton of different um, sort of integrations here and ways to manage the safe. But the one we're going to be concerned with is this transactions page here, which I'm actually going to look at in a second. But for now, let's first head over to the third web uh, dashboard. And let's actually start deploying a contract and interacting with this safe on the dashboard. And so the most important process here we're going to see is that we can actually connect our Gnosis safe to this page. And the way that we do that is we come over here and we connect with the MetaMask wallet that I created the safe with, which in this case is my other wallet over here called Go SDK. So I'm going to select that wallet and now I'm connected there. And now I should be able to click this and go down to connect Gnosis safe. So that's what I'm going to click here. And we can select the network of the Gnosis safe, which is Gurley. And then what I need to do is actually get the address of the safe over here at this Gnosis safe page. 
and paste it in. And now I should be able to connect to the safe. So now you can see that I haven't deployed any contracts yet, but this is where the process gets super easy to actually do everything with Gnosis Safe. So all I have to do to deploy any smart contract is click this button here to deploy a new contract. And this is similar to our flow for normal wallets, but you can see immediately I have all these options of smart contracts that I can deploy for my Gnosis Safe. Now, some interesting ones for governance and specifically for safes are the split contract here, which lets you manage fund distribution among multiple recipients. Obviously very useful for Gnosis safes, as well as this vote contract, which allows easy creation of DAOs. But in this video, I'm just gonna keep it simple and deploy an NFT drop contract. So I'm just gonna click here to deploy, and that's gonna take me to the NFT drop page. Everything looks good here. I could select a version if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna keep it on latest, and I'll just select deploy now. So now I can just put Gnosis safe contract, and I'll leave off all the other configuration, and I'll just deploy. So this is where we get to see uh, an interesting part of the process here. Uh, and it's telling me that I don't have Gurley for some reason. The issue is that I have to actually fund my Gnosis safe. So let's go ahead and do that first. So the way I'm gonna do that is just head over to my MetaMask to a wallet with funds. And then I'm just gonna send some directly to the address of the Gnosis safe. So the way I can do that is I come to the, here, uh, click send on my MetaMask and just paste in the address of the Gnosis safe and I'll send 0.1 girly for now. So I'm just gonna confirm that transaction and my Gnosis Safe wallet should be funded. So the transaction went through and I can now go back to the third web dashboard and my balance is updated. So I should now be actually able to deploy a smart contract. And you can see it tells me to go to my Gnosis Safe page. So we have a few steps here. One. I sign and authorize the transaction from my connected wallet, which I do first. And then the transaction should pop up in this queue of transactions to complete. So we'll just wait for that to happen. And you see it pops up here. And what this means is that the transaction is approved to be submitted, but someone actually needs to now go and submit that transaction for execution. So I can do that by pressing this execute button and then clicking submit. And it will prompt another transaction for me to send from my Gnosis Safe wallet which I'm approving with my um, admin wallet. And now this transaction should be processing, which means I can come over to my dashboard and it will send me over to the deployed contract page once this transaction completes. So now the transaction completed and the dashboard automatically pops me over to the deployed contract page. And so just like that, we've actually uh, just set up a Gnosis safe and deployed a smart contract easily from it through the third web dashboard. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is that it doesn't just stop there. You can actually interact with this contract um, completely throughout the dashboard with your Gnosis Safe wallet. For example, to end off this video, let's actually create an NFT um, lazy minted that people can later then come in and claim. So I'm just gonna upload an image here. We'll choose this one and I'll call it Gnosis NFT number one. And we could just mint the NFT and we'll see the same process here where it tells us to sign a message and then go over to our Gnosis Safe transaction queue. So we'll do the exact same process there. And you can see how it works for transactions as well as deployments. And our transaction has completed, so the dashboard should now load. And we see that we've successfully not only deployed a smart contract from a Gnosis Safe wallet, but also minted an NFT uh, from the dashboard. So that's it for the video. Hope it was helpful to everyone. And for those of you that are looking to get help or join a community of Web3 developers, definitely join our Discord. The link is uh, below in the description. But that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed the video.